us rather we talk about the prerogative of mercy they just walk into the prison and say uh, you 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 out they say why say the governor said so and that's the end of solomon grande kenedo kenedo governor my for the onam borrow say abba they have the right this man set free committed the crime indeed but the governor or the president any me we i sana moy eya mbere nyem me e sana moy eya we say mercy is when you at receive forgiveness or pity when you had actually done something wrong ibono ke me mpan we are not celebrating chief ndu association the saint we are celebrating chief ndu association whom god has helped and all of us celebrating whatever age we are celebrating. We didn't come into this place as saints. Yang tell go gang in by said where you go n mimi. Say for so tiro. Oh room bon say for nam are go and one video okay. Ni tom fundu bokeri idiom okay. So Jeva say your mommy. So fo. Oh room bon say for nam are go ben video okay. Oh no can feel young idiom. So I say your mommy. So fo. You might worry about them. You need phone so you don't phone off. It's uh... But God is still very, very merciful. We are saying today, we are celebrating Chief Ndwesa Esien. We are celebrating 80 years of God's mercies, grace, and favor. The place we read, Bible says, for thou hast possessed my reins and hast covered me in my mother's womb. The way the Lord put it to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, say, before they conceive you, I had already known you. When you were inside the womb, I had destined you to be a prophet to the nations. For our father, at this instance, we gather here today. For you seated in the presence of God today, I made young who came borrow. I'm at the pay But for that level of mercies, maybe you would have crashed many seasons ago. For this, we know we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Time will fail, Chief Essien and all of us, if we were to handle the microphone. For me, time has failed me already, so I'm not contesting. To start counting, enumerating his mercies, his protection, when we got to the valley of the shadow of death, when we are sure we're gone, when we are sure we can't make it from here, when we said our last prayers, and how many times you've said your last prayers, somehow it didn't happen because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Today we are here to celebrate God's mercies. The health, what health organization have their grammar to blue? And we are not contesting with them. That man's age, expectancy, as all are reduced. When in David's days, they wrote scriptures. They said his expe the expectation was 70 years. Now some say 60, some say 50. For our father, today is 80. If we wouldn't celebrate God's mercies, if we wouldn't shout and jump, I don't know why we are here. It has been the Lord all the way. Most of the things that would have happened did not happen because he is fearfully and wonderfully made. It has been the mercies of the Lord all through. Verse 15, the place we say, the Bible says, my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in the secret and crossly wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. It has been the Lord. Do you know that you hardly have people who rise and succeed by the grace of God and still stay strong with their wives beside them up to age 75 and 80? Some wives will either be bedridden or some will be gone. I mean, Zembo, boy, and time will be with some bitter. Kill fun, a berry pa, a berry tum pa, a canawana di tum pa, go to Maro de on Ticon to an emona, Adion de Machis Melita, 
Nous avons un peu de temps. 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 No other person can do for you except you are. So for God to preserve them, it means He had proposed. The one is still standing. The man is still standing. I didn't come to preach them today. I came to preach all of us, but they have gathered us here. So if I mention His name, you can get the quarrel. You make a very young chief do a In verse sixteen. Thine eyes did see my substance. I'm using Old King James, not the brilliant new international version. Yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Do you know? The Lord knew Elder Andrew Sessian would be a very crooked man. Or Chief Ndwese. Hello? At his level of crookedness. I didn't say he's a wicked man. And so the Lord made provisions as per Psalms number 32, verses 1 and 2. I like to read Psalms 32. Bible says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Bible says, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no God. Those things were done proud to. We are saying that there are people the Lord don't let me use the word loosely, forgive. And there are those the Lord forgives. So when we say the Lord prepared forgiveness before time, we mean that David committed more crimes than Saul. But the Lord had proposed that he would always forgive David each time he fell. What did Saul do that David did not do? Go to Amalek, kill everything. Saul went to Amalek, kill almost everything. Hello? At least he obeyed some part of the commandment. Go, kill everything. Poor Saul went, kill almost everything. And for the pressure that was around, brought the king Agag, brought a few choice uh, animals according to him for sacrifice. In David's days, David did not count. David, David went for census. In David's days, Uriah the Hittite is at the fire line on David's behalf. David, now you finished the first part. You now went to the second part, unsuccessful. You now went to the third part. Gave him the letter. He took to the place. He was killed. Did God kill David? We say, blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven. Do not take it lightly when you commit abomination and the Lord does not kill you. There are many men the Lord killed who did not go as bad as you have. I'm not saying Chief Nguyen was a wicked man. I'm saying the Lord secured forgiveness for him proud to anything happening. And we are here to celebrate that mercy. But it's also okay, I'm fun for. A man, I'm not provision on the okay, ne, Abba. And so today the song shall be, How precious are thy thoughts unto me. And how great is the sum of them all. As we are saying, because I'm about rounding up with the prayers, I'd like you to look back in your political career and imagine all the crimes you have committed so far. Look up to God and acknowledge his mercies. Because today, we are here to celebrate God's mercies. Mbogo ya confess. Fara yidi yege mpani. Sisi neke se nfura basye. Mwoy mwoy ta mwono yye ya yungo. Okup. Finish. But let us acknowledge that it is not our power or our mind, but God's mercies. God's mercies God's mercy. And we are here to thank him for this message. Let me finish the scriptures, try to wrap up. So David could say in the words of Elder Ndwese, or Chief Ndwese, please, 
if I call him elder, let the Kwewepo not feel bad because he is an elder statesman. An elder is an elder of the people. And in the words of Elder Andres, if I count them, they are more in number than the sun. When I awake, I am still with thee. What the Bible intended to say, okay, but in the panda, I'm here, young boy, and doom. Ia, Metiona Primary School, okay, ba. Ia, Metiona, oh, you call it up. Okay, ba. Ia, I guess, you're a core of ya. Who's on it, man? Metio, young boy, no, I'm here on song, doom. Bible, okay, I'm going to take it up and up. Oh, mamma, and then when I awake, my epidem, and you're on me, and I'm doing this, young girl. Today, we are here to tell God. Thank you for your mercies. For me, I believe more in the mercies of the Lord than the grace and favor. Because what grace and favor cannot do, mercy can do. So we are here to celebrate God for his mercies. That God is here. Arranging this platform is not just the show. People have traveled in from far and wide, not for the mere show of it, but for us to sincerely tell God we are grateful. It's a heart filled with thanks. Today, we want to tell the Lord, not only on his behalf, but he's at the center stage, but on behalf of your family. Truth be told, some people lack the time to tell God a serious, I am grateful. Because we take too many things for granted. Some of us have never been ill before. Ill to the point you cannot close your eyes and open. At that point, you don't know you need certain amount of jaws, of energy to close your eyes and open. So you think it is normal. You've never been bedridden. When malaria comes, it is like, oh, what is this? Those who have been on bed for three years, six years, almost develop bed sore. When they have the opportunity to leave the bed and stand again, if you see them, thank God, you think they are running amok. Because they are remember many things. But today, we are here to tell the Lord we are grateful. For the past, too many things happen, we cannot enumerate them. We are here to tell God we are grateful. This is Elder Isien that stood in during Atta's administration, he was relevant. During Akbabio's administration, he did not lose relevance. During His Excellency Governor Dom's administration, he was still relevant. As I'm speaking to you, nothing happens in the territorial district without El Dandu Esien. In the Bible, we learned it was Daniel that was able to stand in in four dispensations. The other three, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, somehow fell by the wayside. And so to have the capacity to stand and be relevant, politically relevant, for four successive administrations, I think God is faithful. And we have to tell God, thank you for your mercies. Unfortunately for him, he does not know how to go all out to fight. I'm not saying he doesn't fight. I'm not saying he gives up easily. I'm only saying that there are extents he cannot go. But how those things come to him, only God knows. That's what I'm trying to say. It could only have been the mercies of the Lord. And we want to tell God, thank you for these mercies. And then we'll ask the Lord, 
this message shall continue. This message in his family shall continue. He has brought many good things to Eket and to Akwaibu. I didn't come to sing his praise today. We only came to thank God. We want to tell the Lord, your grace shall continually be sufficient unto him. When he speaks, you shall accompany whatever he says. Government, get for Government, I'm saying for Atang. Even at the local government level. Even at the local government level. But for him to speak state national, I think it's a level of grace and mercy. And so you want to tell Lord, as we thank you today. He may not be as strong as he used to be strong to run Abuja Lagos all the way. But if he picks his phone and dials a number. Whatever he says shall hold sway. If he makes a recommendation, an authentic recommendation, whatever and whoever he recommends shall hold sway. The past, Lord, we thank you. The future, Lord, let it be greater than the past. Chief in the next 50 years, Jesus said, I have 120 years. So when he passed on to eternal glory, will come and do celebration of life. You don't borrow. We are going to pray here that God shall raise a successor. That a kid's territorial district and a kid nation shall not suffer. There are places their leaders will be called eternal glory and people will struggle for relevance. But kicked we all have and want to be everything. But then, God will raise a man. Everybody will want to be there. But let it be the Lord. Now, I can't yaka. I know he has groomed a lot of people. But if you forget it, you know. That's the prayer for the future I talked about. We have several reasons to appreciate you for our Father. At the National Assembly, you were with him. The various committees he led and the things he did at the National Assembly, it was your mercies and grace. As a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you were with him. Too many things happened, you saw him through. In all his offices, in his political career, you have always been there. Before politics, you were with him. During politics, you have been with him. Even now, you are still with him. Shall we please rise to our feet? You want to express thanks. They say it is a thanksgiving service. 88th birthday. I will sing of the mercies. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing, I will sing. Of the mercies of the Lord forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Blessed be my mouth, be my mouth, be my mouth, be mouth, be my sanctuary. I'd like all of us to raise our voices to bless the Lord for his mercies upon Chief 
This is the turn to tell God, we came to bless your name. We came to thank you. We came to appreciate you for his mercy. Yes, his 80th birthday. We are his friends and well-wishers. And we are here to say, Papa, amen, amen. Shall we pray as a church? I'd like someone to bless the Lord for our father and brother. I'd like someone to be excited about what the Lord has helped him do, use him do, and do for him. Other things we'll do in this place today may be secondary. The real thing we came for was the birthday thanksgiving. Father, thank you for his family. Thank you for his children. Thank you for his spouse. Thank you for everything that I associated with. Thank you for his village. Thank you for this church. When you enter the church, you'll see a touch of Chief Nui Sesien. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the past. Thank you for all our lives. Now I'd like you to pray and ask the Lord that the future shall be great. He is already 80, but he still, have a future. he still has a future. The family still have a future. I want to pray, oh God, because we are here today, for Iket as a nation, for Ikibio, for Akwaibum, at this instance, let the future be great. Father, we thank you for your mercies. Words may not be enough, but you can read through the statements in our hearts that we are grateful on behalf of our father and elder, Chief Nduesesien. We didn't congregate in this place to make sure, to do sure, to have a form of godliness without the power, but we came to sincerely thank you Every other thing that will happen in this service is equally important. But why we came was to say, Papa, thank you for the life of our father. Please accept our thanks offering. For all your mercies, thank you. For all your grace upon his life, thank you. For all the favor he has received from birth till today, thank you. In the name of Jesus. May the future be great. I made thanksgiving me. I will prepare from Bamong. I am the one who will not make any swear. Thanksgiving we will take again. I plan on intact. I know. I am thanksgiving the centenary. I know intact. I am the ninety. I have seen book. So I made thanksgiving fun. The only swear man I swear man I know him. The only fun. Fun you for him. We pray for a kid as a nation. All the local governments making up a kid nation and a kid local government in particular. Father, bless this land. It is a blessed land already. Father, please prosper the future of this land. We pray, oh God, for the entire senatorial district from Oron to Ikorabasi and all of that. Basimbok nom fun. Basimbok nom fun. Basimbok nom fun. Say my bonum funky wood, a tenyan. We are thanking you for entire senatorial districts. We are thanking you for entire Ikit nation. We are thanking you for the entire Ikit local government. Diongo biomi, diongi songomi, kubo kamyan, nam no fun me, elder, nduese siyan. 
Jesus Christ. Shall we please be seated as I make one or two announcements? Mbok, announcement send me number tangi ko kangyen, number no kangyen. Yao fa wasanya men no kanyang Jesus Christ. Ken isong obyonyen, iminye asanga asanga esup edi demere. Afukud Christian Crusade abritong uduami. Kwai bo church enye ke frefer platform mo ateke. At Unity Park, Thursday, five o'clock, the crusade begins. Bosses, aya abasi tu ekit. Bosses, aya abasi tu esrekit. Aya tu oro, rufo ruku. Aya tu ibono. Aya tu korabasi. Aya tu istano bulu. All the local governments in the states. Atori, mbok sarugo meka ma microphone. With all due respect, mekbe meraru songyan. Keng efang berukara, dia menolak sila wujud. Ni orang bertang dulu nanim. Afan merah rusong kefang berukara, meboro boro. Kurang mekad honorable bela yang wak, mekad logo government chairman, mekad mestika, mekad mesenator, mekad efan monse mengke kanan nam recognition kedah protocol. Afre pusen kredo, nam nombor irong mufu, ikeneri cruiser. Mbosen tanga wangau, ku yak noro fokitu parenin, ini dia cruiser, monong parenin ini ibaga. Kero statewide crusade. Ado interdenominational can e anko de crusade. Mbok, mera yinga ba simpe afer politicians. Si ba kufo omi ubok. Sa aru ufo, kamitaka boro boro, kirong mufu. Akwariko, ane inte aru kwe finu bong fin. Meke leke yana mebengen mekeng Jesus Christ. Ku yang no boso ti kora ba se wad nkanga, adiki wa unity pak. Ke e ma eke siyo kubo, driver ya abo. Eh, my quick, my quick. Your bosses are overloaded. I'm using that word loosely. Mbok, ku overload boss. Bagro safety. Ku yak no boss asa anka. And then government, enam free medical services. Akuro food ya ampo government ekba. Abase rakakbom government isa ngadam. Hello, no mo ebo ke memo enam free medical. Sio mbongo, sio nan. Afan monsiki ni endemi goida. Afan monsiki ni hai ni awo. Afre fruto udongo. Duto kona afubi kakan. Pat mo kupan mo ke wamben mo wamben saira. Oma wamben mo wamben saira. Udongo mo. Afuriro na mami adi emana nyong. A udongo mo kiron mufaba. Suto udongo kwe udongo kogo mene boki mi bengi dem. Anta ngarun kogo mene zoi gub. Gub mene bengi dem. It's your Ministry of Health. God may be in them. It's your general hospitals, my doctor. God may be in them. It's your specialist. It's your work in the community. Bam! It's a guy who can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. But the poor medical services, say, as long as I don't say they can't treat, orthodox medicine can't treat, I can't say they can't treat. I'm going to give you one thing, though. I can make it very fair. I'm going to do what I want to do. We're going to say in the end, okay? There will be serious free medical services. I'm passing by where Yaba cross the line. Yaba, I'm seeing it. I'm Yaba. I'm forgetting some more. Safe for being here. The end of the month, medical services are receiving our balance. I come up with a brave you. So I'm not going to do. I'm not aware that Thursday morning medical services are available. I'm sure of Friday and Saturday. Since we are starting the crusade Thursday evening, those two days are enough. I put a serious fear. Ya akaro ke fume wadi ufangu ke me government ya itangi koyian. Ke ruke me nem pre medical services afu wagu udi ke pokom pokirong mufu. Bu ya fun bonu ponam e wadi bet kudian ku tridian tot ke uki bo kendiria ya aba sumo da kakaman diria akuro crusade pot uma wadi. Aya mana nyong, bong e mana bene edi. Yang ada mana kaitiro, e wak e kan Christmas carol. Aswa mangasi tanga. And let me also say, that this crusade is not meant for born again members of Kwaibo Church alone. Yes, they have to be there because they must be there. But it will be more useful to the boys in the street. 
mon si fiak dada ina ma tron i wa ke ma santa mon de gbe ke ya we no jesus how fun you be onion 8080 so while targeting the audience for the crusade let the target audience ado the street boys the hawkers no dey say good hawker ko bon tang ganado ye mention sur mon afin e pe kan enie mon dodo no e ko bi ko ba si e ka pe set e me me ya ma na ko ni don nyen ken tang no wa kan ba ni ntor me ari nyen o kan eni ko ba si me be nga ba si mfon aru di on fien nja ka ma yen men se me honorable fang kiri ba ke crusade ground me right honorable ye me distinct wish aba se yo nga fere wo ke yang jesus christ Church, praise the Lord. Amen. Is somebody really happy in the house? Can you shout big hallelujah? Make it better than that. I'm really thankful unto the Lord for leading us thus far successfully to the first part of this ceremony today. I am just directed by the chairman of the planning committee of this birthday celebration that as we are preparing to take up part two of this program, that uh, uh, we should, I should do something to thrill the spirit of the persons so that uh, by the time we are taking up part, so everything shall be running smoothly. And uh, please, Mr. Mokan, Ekandem, get yourself ready. As soon as we are done with uh, this congregational hymn, we will invite you to step forward and do a brief introduction of the dig, uh, dignitaries of the government. But the church shall do first. Elder Ephraimity, please get yourself ready. Let's summarize part one as we sing him number eight four. It is not in the program, but it's going to be projected on screen. We sing first number one and number two. Edara, Jesus Christ, Obon. Edara, Christ, Obon, Obon, Atawem, please, shall we rise and sing verses one and the last? Edara, Jesus Christ, Obon, Obon, We go back to verse one. One, two, go. Jesus Christ, oh
Your Excellency, the General Superintendent, I will not add of protocol. Please do forgive me. I'm asked to recognize a few gentlemen of God from this angle. And presiding over this service today is the General Superintendent, Fred Efara. Sir, in Kwebo, we know him as the Samuel Bill the second. Samuel Bill was the founder of Kwebo. We have also Apostle Dr. U. S. Ukbong, field superintendent of the Apostolic Church, Eket Field. Bishop Ndede Methodist Church, Ikoroba Sidase. You are here with us, sir. A second, a second, please. A second. Bishop, you are welcome. We also have Reverend Area Conference. We have the Superintendent of the Redeemed Christian Church, uh, Region 49. There's no other person than Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Johnson O'Moran. Uh, the list is inexhaustible, but because of time, I will not uh, continue from there. Uh, your Excellency, other protocol, please, will be established. We are welcoming you to Kwaibo Church and also celebrating our father. He's a mentor, he's a father, he's a supporter, and a staunch member of this church. That we feel on occasion like this, the church. Your Excellencies. It's not every time that a group of people or individual is privileged to have a governor present, uh, to have a contact with the governor. So as our father, so we know you are a pastor and we know that you are embedded in the word of God. But word of God like prayer is never overdosed. So the church deems it fit to also present you with the word of God. It's going to be taken by my humble self. Introductions, we would have the thanksgiving by our father and his family. After which we'll have two short or two remarks. I mean, I can't control those remarks. Even if they want to speak to you tomorrow, God will understand. <laughs> but that's what we're going to do and then service would end. I had to run that order so that we know that we're nearing the end of service this afternoon. Let me please request that we acknowledge the presence of His Excellency, the Governor of Aquaibum said, who has led all of us here this afternoon. Please celebrate His Excellency, Pastor Moino. Thank you, thank you so much. Please, for want of time, that's all the salutes we can take. God bless you. We acknowledge, of course, also in our midst, the presence of the immediate past Governor of Aquaibum said, please celebrate him. His Excellency, Mr. Udomi Manuel, we appreciate your presence here. We thank you for coming all the way to be a part of this service. We acknowledge the Deputy Governor of Akwaibum State, Distinguished Senator Dr. Akone Yaganyi. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Immediate past Deputy Governor of Akwaibum State, Mr. Moses Ekbo, member of the Order of the Federal Republic. We acknowledge your presence and we thank you. Let me acknowledge, please members of the National Assembly that are here with us in this service. We acknowledge all distinguished senators that are here, distinguished Senator Kong Samson, distinguished Senator Emmanuel Iborgesien, distinguished Senator Lois Shusetuk, and Bishop Elinesweni, we acknowledge you. And please, we acknowledge also distinguished Senator Efyong Bo. Please, through them, I beg to acknowledge all the other members of the National Assembly, particularly the forum of Na former National Assembly members present. Please, there are so many, but I acknowledge them through their chairman and vice, Obong and Oakman and Right Honorable Emmanuel Obot. Thank you so much for being a part of this service. We acknowledge your presence. I acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Chief Asama Sam, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Thank you, Director General of Government. Members of the Akwaibom State House of Assembly, please, we acknowledge and welcome all of you. I acknowledge, please, on their behalf, the member speaking for Eket State Constituency, Dr. Nsideba Kata, thank you so much for being a part of service. We acknowledge you. Let me please celebrate the chairman of our party, the Right Honorable Elder, Anir Kanakban. We appreciate and welcome you. The head of the civil service is present in this service, Elder Ifyong Isien. We welcome and appreciate you. Please, we acknowledge 
all members of the Akwaibum State Executive Council through their dean, for want of time, please. Samonde Ebonguko, please we greet all the others and their spouses, those who have come with their wives. Please, we welcome you and appreciate your presence. Let me acknowledge, please, the immediate past chief judge of Akwaibum State City just here, Honorable Justice Godwin Abraham. We acknowledge your presence. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, please, we acknowledge all our elders. There are so many here today that if I'm to list all of them, then service may never end. So please permit me to greet all our political elders, political fathers that have come to celebrate, of course, with their contemporary who is celebrating his 80th birthday today. Please, we thank all of you. And we really just want to thank you for always turning up to support your own. Let me celebrate them through the one seated in front of me, please. I choose him because he's seated here. Chief Ikoto Okon Osung. Please, can we celebrate him? Can we celebrate him? And please celebrate all the other elders through them. We appreciate all of you for being a part of service today. I acknowledge all chairmen of um, transition committees from all the local government areas that have come. Please, we appreciate your presence. We acknowledge all of you in your numbers. Thank you very much. Let me acknowledge the traditional rulers, please, through the paramount ruler of Eket, who is seated here, Chief E.C. Diabia. We acknowledge your presence and, of course, his wife, we welcome you Mbok, through them. I welcome all other traditional fathers and their spouses. Miba and Mbong, all of them seated to my right, please. We welcome all of you, and we truly, truly appreciate you for finding time to be a part of this service. We acknowledge, please, all other government functionaries, permanent secretaries, heads of extra ministerial departments, chairmen of boards and their members, and all of you who have come out to celebrate with our father today. We truly thank you. Please, you permit me to punctuate the on introductions, but not without acknowledging some of those who have come from outside Akwaibom State to be a part of this service. I acknowledge on their behalf just two, former member of the National Assembly who has also come here, Chide Nwogu. We acknowledge your presence and thank you for being a part of service today. Thank you very much. And we also acknowledge all the way from Cross River State Chief and Mrs. Geshon Basi. Please, we acknowledge you. Gesh, Gesh Henshorada. Please, we acknowledge you and we thank you. Right, seated there. And his wife, please. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of you for being a part of this service. If we had all the time, we would have done more introductions. But of course, that is how far we can go in service today. Your Excellency, to end the introductions, I always want to leave those celebrating. I always love to leave these for the end. Let me, let me keep the paper. Thank you. I want us to acknowledge and celebrate the man that we have come here to celebrate with today. Uh, when I came into church, I had the privilege of receiving one of the programs, and I ran through his profile, written there in brief. And I noticed that this man is an enigma. He has been many things at different times. He's a man who was a teacher, was a, a food. So he also saw rice and stew. <laughs> in the University of Calabar, he ran a canteen, ran a supermarket, ran a bookshop. He's been many things. He's a leader in every sense of the word. Please, can I ask that we put our hands together and celebrate the Right Honorable Chief Ndwese Sien and, of course, his wife of many years. Is that how you are celebrating them? Please, please, make it louder. Make it louder. We truly, truly appreciate the grace of God upon your life and we thank God for reserving elders like you to show the way to youth like us so that we have people to look up to and learn how to live. Thank you so much and we bless God that you are here with us, even to you today. We're just celebrating your birthday. There will be many more. You'll be here at 90, you'll be here at 100. And if you invite us, we'll still come back. Please, can we for the last time put our hands together for him? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, we are going to proceed to the Thanksgiving. But just before the Thanksgiving, Chief has requested, please, that we allow the alumni from the Salvation Army Secondary School to come and do their anthem. I think they will just rise. Let's not come out because there's no space. Everyone, okay, there are a few. Are there really few? All right, please, can we rise and come out as quickly as we can for want of time, please? We we'll just do the anthem so that we can proceed into the Thanksgiving. Your Excellency? Okay, please, let, let's come out, please, as quickly as possible, please. This is a special request from the celebrant, so we have to accommodate it. Please, who is leading the choir? And Senator Bob, please. We okay. He, let's let's go down.
Okay, the song is ready. Sai Sio Kwara, I've sent it to your WhatsApp. Senator Bob, I've sent it to your I've also sent it to your to your phone. Young, you know, we buy young, you like young. Yes, sir, are we? They, they song is, um, you know, they, I have sent it to a few, to a few people here. Yes, okay, sir. Conductor. Akai, we sing your praise and glory. We proudly tell to all your story. We love and your mercy abiding. We skip wherever we may go. Yeah, fly, fly. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate all of you who have come in solidarity to one of your own. And we trust that that anthem will continue to ring in the ears of many generations to come. Your Excellency, at this moment, we're going to have the thanksgiving by the man that we're here to celebrate with this afternoon. But just before I invite you, sir, let me acknowledge, please, the representative of the Obong of Calabar. Just be notified that he's represented here by His Royal Highness Etubom Bishop Eyobiyekbu, representing the Obong of Calabar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And all members of your delegation, we appreciate all of you. Thank you. Of course, you know that uh, our father has traversed almost every part of the country with titles from most of those places. Of course, they needed to be here. Your Excellency, with your permission now, let us celebrate the man that has lived truly in every meaning and essence of that word. The one that we're here to celebrate at 80 today for his thanksgiving. Right Honorable Chief, Ndueso Sien, please can we put our hands together, celebrate him. As he comes here with his wife of many years.
praise the Lord. That is a very special hymn which I requested the choir to sing because it's very meaningful. Praise the Lord. Uh, my family will join me later. But let me first do the thanksgiving with my wife. Your Excellency, the governor of Akwaibom State, Pastor Moino, the immediate past governor of the state, the deputy governor, and all the other distinguished people that are here. Uh, the clergy, I'm happy that you have come out in large numbers. My life is full of God's blessings. That is why I have come out to thank him. Let me tell you a few of the things that make me feel that God had a special place for me and so he, he allowed me to stay on. My mother had 13 children and I am amongst the six of them died before the age of 20. I have also stayed on and I am the only male in the family that has reached the age of 80. Help me to attain several heights right from school into my business to virtually everything I have put my hands into. I have seen his direction in virtually everything I have done. I just felt that I should come out and do this Thanksgiving. Because, and incidentally, these people celebrating birthday every year, that didn't occur to me. But the attainment of the age of 80 deserves a special celebration. And that is why we are here. I also want to use this opportunity to thank a number of people whom God used to keep me alive and to also make me achieve the various successes that I have had. My special thanks goes to Obong Victuata, who was the first governor I worked with in Akwaibom State. He was, he was pivotal to most of my successes in the National Assembly, particularly in the South-South Parliamentary Caucus. I also want to thank Obong Goswila Pabio, who gave me a lot of exposure, sent me to the Technical Committee on the Niger Delta. He got me appointed minister My ministerial appointment was not with any uh, lobbying. There was no lobbying. My name was sent and I was screened. There was no opposition to my nomination. And so that is a thing of joy. After that, he also sent me to the 2014 National Conference. Then, Deacon Udebe Emmanuel came and did of it all. I ended the national conference in 2014. By 2016, I fell into a very serious illness. My vein was 98% functional. That is why from time to time I used to faint. But when I went in for the first test, the doctors were surprised that I walked to the hospital. And so they hurriedly advised that I should go for a heart surgery. Because Robin Manuel insisted I shouldn't do it in the country. And so he directed that I be sent abroad to the best heart 
Hospital in London. So that is how I managed to survive. In fact, when I got to London, the doctors there were asking my wife, did this man walk on his legs to this place? They couldn't believe it. I went in for the surgery. There were about 10 to 12 doctors that supervised the surgery. And this is the best of the hospitals you can imagine in this world. They went through the surgery successfully, but they found it difficult to return me. And so, for some hours, they attempted three times. I didn't come back. They even called my wife and my daughter in London that, well, they have tried, but uh, your husband is not returning. Little did they know that I was on the other side. I had gone to that side. I saw a lot of the people who had died. And at a stage, I went to, I went to embrace one of my cousins who just died a few years before. He shrinked back and didn't come to embrace me. That was when I returned. So from that lesson, I know that God has a design for me. He appears to have so many things for me to do. I don't really know what he really wants me to do. But I have come back. I have continued to live the life the best where I can. And so today, I am full of thanks and praises to the Lord. Because I have seen his hand. He has blessed me. And I thank him immensely. There are so many other people who I hate to. I would also not forget Dr. E.J. Esenewo, who is over 96 years old. I didn't invite him for this Thanksgiving. But he called me yesterday and said, oh, you didn't invite me, I will come. And he is here in the church. Dr. Senewo, can you stand up, please? Dr. E.J. Senewo. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Okay. Amen. So you can now see how much I am loved in a case. I didn't know that they loved me this much. In fact, I have told some groups that why were you harassing me all along during my, my service to you? You harassed me so much, I felt that I was hated. That if I knew I was this loved, I would have done more for this community. So what I am advising is that do not harass your sons and daughters who go out to serve you. When you harass them, they will tend to withdraw. But if you encourage them, they will work harder and produce more for you. Your Excellencies, you know what you are passing through. I, I passed through the same rope uh, to assist in the running of this church. This church was founded in 1920. Our parents built it. It wasn't as large as this. But just a large number of people. And so the church members, and particularly the Commissioner for Local Government. <laughs> Pastor Frank said the church uh, too slow. Team. 
this, I just love that um, chorus, please. Can say se bang anam de nami. Can say se bang anam de anami. Marumarem biru wo. Can say se bang anam de anami. Marumarem biru wo. Ami marumarem biru wo. Ami marumarem biru. carefully left him out because I have not worked with him yet. <laughs> I work with the other ones I mentioned. But he has been a marvel in the politics of Aquaibel because he is doing exactly what I always wanted to be done. And we have, we have seen that there is, there is sanity there is progress, and the state is going to grow more and more. So, Your Excellency, we request you to keep it up. They will trouble you a lot. They will challenge you that those things you are doing is not political. What is not political is good for the people. Because politics is not a platform to go and make money. It is not a platform to go and fight your brothers or to make enemies. It is a platform to serve the people. That is what we learned. And that is what he is also doing. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you will allow the two of, uh, two of them to speak. But if Dr. Senna will wish is to, I would want him to speak first. Please let's sing as the family celebrates back to their seats. Thank you so much. The choir, please, or press team. Manam, ain't never seen a manam, eh? A manam, ain't never seen a manam, so so long. So much. Your Excellency, the celebrant has made another special request. Ordinarily, we would have had two remarks, but we'll add a third. I will begin with the third. Uh, in the course of his testimony, he mentioned a name. A name I used to read about in uh, Law of Thought Cases in my days in the university. Please, I want us to welcome the 96th year and above man who is still alive strong walking please i'm going to uh, daddy i can bring the microphone to you there oh he says he wants to come out please let's celebrate
Dr. E.J. Senewo, as he comes, Daddy wants to come out. He wants to come out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Today, I want to tell you that I am a part of what they call Kaibu Church. Kaibu Church came to this part of the year of, our, of the country 1887 you will be surprised at the end of the Africa thing 18 no Dr. Senegal Johnson Senegal Abraham Mo Mo 1908 you will be surprised at the end of the Africa thing I didn't know Dr. Senator Johnson started Ukori Kwa was in 1910. I didn't know to make U.S. as a secretary. Mokat. I didn't know Ukori Kwa was in 1910. I didn't know. Dr. Senwo, Adequa, 1969. I, I think no past, I think no honorable minister, made an ex-minister of Mercedes Iran, <laughs> and made an individual a scene at a past of me, made Rotavo. So, so, I'm going to get there no and the blessings of God pouring on us. No, I'm the Ikuna Basio. Come in there 95 years old. I'm in there the first ethics speaker that I'm going to get in there geography. I understand. Young Kama. 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 Young I'm in the first. I'm in the qualified United States and Canada. 1958. Perhaps the first. The first. Uh, first. He be your boy. Or a guy who said boy. I quit the medical doctor. I get a contemporary of Dr. Kejani. Dr. Kejani. I'm going to go. Classmate Dr. Kejani. Oh, right, young. I went back. Unfortunately. This, this story was told to us. This is the you know, you know, because if I get, I don't think you, you get this out of this way. Nine, I, I, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, school set. I took school set 1948, finished 19, result was out 
Yari, in that case, celebrates that our father, words of an elder, Mineki Komabasi, for keeping him still alive till today. Thank you so much for gracing this service. Very strong. Thank you. Mok, let's take our seat so we can continue with service. Let's take our seats. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Distinguished worshippers, I will now quickly take the two remarks that were originally supposed to be taken here in this service. We must commend and thank our Father again for coming out to pray for the celebrant. With that prayer, sir, it's confirmed. You would get to 95. That's certain. That's certain. Let me, on that note, very respectfully welcome the immediate past governor of Akwaibom State, His Excellency. Mr. Udom Emmanuel for his remarks in this service. Excellency, our leader, the governor of Akwaibom State, Your Excellency, the deputy governor, our superintendent and the head of Kwaibo Church in Nigeria, Your Excellencies, especially my uncle Mo, the former deputy governors that are here, Distinguished Senators, members of the National Assembly, the Chairman of our party, my Lord, the immediate past Chief Judge of our state, and other judges here present. Permit me just to recognize people in categories. Let me first of all acknowledge the pastors, the elders of my church. Then I recognize our traditional institution, our paramount ruler, and his dear wife, and through him, I recognize these traditional institutions. I recognize all the elders, and through the members of the National Assembly, and sorry, the State House of Assembly, I recognize all of them. But most especially today, the reason we are here is because of my leader and his dear wife. Turning at and by the special grace of God, 
You know, I'm also very thankful. When I came in, I said, ah, sir, you don't look this eight you. He said, I'm celebrating in advance. <laughs> I really, really want to thank God. I don't want to prolong the protocol. I think um, Morgan did a whole lot on that. Please, because of time. I really want to thank God because I came and met him as a leader. And throughout, I upheld him as our leader. And recognize him as our leader. Until tomorrow, he still remains our leader. Anytime, I didn't look at him much as former House of Rep member, former, no. What I looked at him most had been that he's the chairman of Eket Senatorial District Elders Forum. A role he had played very, very well. I also want to thank God today that in most cases, whenever I had challenges, at times, you know, if somebody loves you and he does not give you constructive criticism, check again. At times, when I was in the office, I must go there today, you know, you the tongue. I mean, don't give me, sir. Wow, could I do it better? He was never, never maestro in giving you very objective advice. And if you want to do well, honestly, listen to advices of the people who do not look at your own face. So today, I stand very, very, very happy. And I told him, when he sent me the text, I said, I don't worry, wherever I am on planet Earth, as far as God gives me the ability, I'll be here to honor you. Because I will not only honor you when you are no more. We should honor you when you are alive. And then you are still very strong. In this part of the world, we don't know how to honor our elders and our leaders. And I think we should learn and imbibe that as our culture. In other places, 80 years is just absolutely nothing. I'm sure Joe Biden is well older than you. He's still the president of America. And president of America is the president of the whole world. And look at the way we are doing as if 80 is too much. You are 80 years young, sir. So we really want to thank God for keeping you. Honestly, I didn't even know that aspect, that God needed you to see a thin line between life and death. And by the mercies of God and by the special grace of God has preached today, you've been alive today. And I still want to plead that please, we still need the voices of people like you. People who have also seen the other side of it. If we do anything wrong, uh, call us and advise us. We'll hit to that advice. I'm sure the present governor will be very happy. You say you've not yet worked with him. Uh, you are working with him, sir. <laughs> we have been to your place to submit ourselves to you. The day we submitted ourselves to you, work started from that day. So please, don't leave us. Don't allow us, uh, some people will say, allow him make mistake and correct himself. It could be very costly. So allow us to work together. Experience, a way that's a good one. You gain experience. The experience you gain across will really help us. I also want to thank mommy. I've been calling him mommy from day one because he's been a mother to so many of us. Today, I stand as Paul's, uh, Paul Apostle, that as I see your face, I thank God for you. In the country where life expectancy is quite short, and we are celebrating in this area, and I'm also tired of going to other parts in Nigeria, celebrating 90. They keep calling you. They throw all kinds of parties. You see a 90-year-old man coming out dancing even more than a 40-year-old man. So as you are 80 and you're still strong, and mommy is by your side, we thank God for your life, sir. And I use this opportunity to appreciate the first medical doctor of this side. At 95, he's not wearing glasses. So what's everybody were eating then? They should give us to eat. And he's still walking strong. And I pray today, the Bible says, as your years, so shall your strength be. So we are joining our hearts today to celebrate you. And say, as your years, sir, so shall your strength be. But Solomon gave us a conclusion of the whole matter in Ecclesiastes chapter 12. He said, the conclusion of this whole matter about life 
is that we must, if I want to quote Solomon verbatim so that I don't make a mistake, Solomon said in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the last two verses, he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter about life, everything that we struggle on planet earth, that first fear God and keep it, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So may God help us as we traverse through, you know, working with each other, that we fear God and we do good to each and every one of us. And then we young ones, we learn to honor our elders. May what we ask may God help us to keep this and as we honor each other. Sir, I say happy birthday to you, sir. Mommy, happy birthday to you. God will continue to keep you strong, keep you in peace, and give you rest. And bless you the way he blessed Abraham. He said he blessed Abraham in all things, including good health. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, <laughs> but for the for the excitement that we see you strong we didn't come here for any other purpose but to celebrate God for your life I think on behalf of my family Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate our leader, the immediate past governor, for those um, comments on the celebrant. Your Excellency, please. The celebrant has asked me to announce that um, after now we'll go for reception at Animex Auditorium. It's, at, um, it's on Ekeloron Road, opposite the Redeemed Christian Church of God, please. So when you live here, that's where you should go to thank you and please immediately after his excellency's address which is the next item here we would hand over back to the church to pray for the celebrant and then dismiss the service as they would lead at that direction your excellency while the immediate past governor spoke he said two things that were remarkable to me first that we should learn to honor and celebrate our elders two that we should keep to the conclusion of the whole matter which is to honor god and to keep his commandment I want to stand on those two things to invite His Excellency the Governor of Akwaibom said first because we know that in all his dealings he honors our leaders, he honors our elders and second because we know too that in all his dealings that he daily strives to honor God, to keep his commandment and to lead in a way that shows that he knows that all his works even as governor will be put before him on that day. Let us celebrate a conscious governor and a conscious leader. His Excellency Pastor Moino, as he makes his remarks in this service. Please celebrate him. Celebrate him.
Praise the Lord. My identity, sir. Please. Y'all go on here, Jesus. Wow. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor. Your Excellency, my boss, my political father, the immediate past governor of Aquaibom State. Your Excellency, the immediate past deputy governor. Our family brand and uh, our mommy, distinguished senator representing senatorial district. Please permit me now to follow this long protocol. I believe that um, Morgan had laid the protocol. Let me adopt that protocol that Morgan laid. We like to thank God for a day like this. Let me first of all apologize for coming late. This is first Sunday, and um, naturally I will. I, I'm always in church. It's our communion, and I go there to pastor them because they are still my small congregation. I've come here out of very, very great respect for our leader and a man who supported our cause. Otherwise, first on the Indian Nungbak is on his own for a kid. They feel very happy when I do that with them because I know that after my tenure, I'll return to them. So let me continue to give them. Uba on here, Jesus. So men and boke efereno for coming late. Ndi late menta. My lawyer said they were guilty with explanations. We are here today to thank God for our father, a man who is um, very sincere. He will tell you his mind. Whether he's right or wrong, the good thing is that he tells you how he feels. And um, that's the part I like about our father. And he's been a man that has encouraged me, not even as governor, from when I came to Eket. And um, then he moved on, went to the house, became a minister, and still interact, keep encouraging us to do the business we are doing with diligence. So I have great respect for our father, Chibundu Essien. And um, when the announcement came and I declared my intention to run, he was there for me. He gave all the support. And so, sir, we're thanking God for you today. And um, we trust that God will continue to keep you strong. I remember the time you called me and said, you want to retire from this business. I begged you not to retire yet <laughs> until I become governor. But now again that I'm governor, please don't retire. <laughs> because we still need the wisdom of the elders. We are here to celebrate you and thank God for you for all that God has done for you. We trust God that he will continue to keep you strong and available for this nation, this state, and our communities. We thank you so much. I think for me, I thank God on young. So, thank God we are having fun. We need to, we have, said, ah, our is here, sir. I salute you, sir. Thank you so much. Mark, we are sir. Can you hear me now? Brief, brief. Because, I worry about you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't since, I don't know, I don't know, so I came at the car reception. So that's why now I'm being built. When I came in, like my political father said, this church is a very fine church. Music church of Mika, I have a new 
Because church, I But um, am I not to request that K church take evangelism? And so on behalf, on the on account of it is birthday, let it be said that on his birthday we donated a bus to the church. Thank you so much. Offering. My boss taught me well that you don't go to any church without an offering. So this is our offering. But you have said you are free. Abasi si sugo kensu amata ayanam Abasi si sugo kensu amata ayanam amata Items in today's part B of the program together. Me come His Excellency. Ke uto ya yu ya ya mune ni me koro. Abaseri on government. Ke young Jesus. It is also a church or a yas one. Ake put it toxic so we be na maro. We are going to pray for the celebrants. We're going to pray for the government. We're going to pray for Mengkok government. Koro government needs prayers. Nkanga woka ye me kamba grise kai par government abasi aya boro kamnyam kenyang jesus christ ya i bene the celebrant mbok kupono ya ye step forward while we please rise u boro ro akanamde boke se u boro ro omoyu madagada dinam kenyang